Number three, show by suitable net ionic equations that each of the following species can act as a bronsted Lowry acid. Then we have letter D out of the bunch. So in this case, we just have to write an equation representing that CH3CO2H is an acid, a bronsted Lowry acid. This is acetic acid, um, but we'll just, you know, use it as CH3CO2H. Now I wrote down here uh, the little, you know, insider knowledge that you guys need to answer this question properly. So we just have to like memorize what's going on here and understand, you know, the information. Now, if you're starting off with an acid, right, and they're, they're classifying this as an acid, that's the only thing that goes on the left-hand side. So I'm just going to say that, okay, we have CH3CO2H. And what acids do is that they break off one of their hydrogens. They always will lose one hydrogen. Now, in this case, it's a little bit tricky because you have three hydrogens here, and you have one hydrogen on the end. What hydrogen is going to be the one that breaks off? The, the reasoning is that the hydrogen that is linked to the more electronegative element is the one that breaks off. So in this case, these hydrogens are located next to the carbon, and this hydrogen is located next to one of the oxygens. Now on the periodic table, if I just draw this periodic table nice, right? and I just titled this electronegativity. Electronegativity, I think I'm spelling this right, negativity. Electronegativity, as you go from left to right, will increase, but then as you go from top to bottom, it will decrease. Definitely memorize these, char these trends, okay guys? Because they're gonna help you a lot. Now on the periodic table, we have carbon, which is over here, let's just say, so here's my C, and then kind of next door is the oxygen. Oxygen is more electronegative. So between the battle of who is what, you know, hydrogen is going to be lost, it's going to be this hydrogen that gets lost. It's not going to be one of these hydrogens because these are bound to carbon, which is less electronegative. All right, so now we know that it's the last hydrogen that's going. Okay. So I write my little arrow here. And since this is an acid, all acids and bases are going to be in aqueous. They're going to be in a water a solution. And one thing I know for certain is that this H is going to be dropped. And that's the H that is just stated at the end here, if we look down here. So now we just have to write the whole thing, but just don't write that, right? Because we know that that one is the one that got left. So it's now CH3CO2, and that's the conjugate base. Conjugate bases are always one hydrogen less than the acid. But now we just have to uh, worry about the charges. We lost the 1H, but now you always subtract one from the charge. But in this case, I didn't see a charge in the upper right-hand corner. Well, we know that that means that it was neutral. It was zero. So zero minus one. Zero minus one is just a negative. You could say a negative one. Doesn't matter. Negative just means it's a negative one. And we're done. So this is your net ionic equation of CH3CO2H acting as an acid. And that's it, guys. Hopefully this helps. Let me just maybe highlight this H, just showing you that this H is this H. All right. Thank you so much. Uh, let me know in the comments. Love talking to you guys. And I really hope this helped. I will talk to you later. And if you're still on me with number three, I'll see you in letter E, okay? All right. Bye-bye.